Hello and welcome back, beautiful Capricorns. This is your bonus reading. Thank you for joining me here, Capricorn. I hope you're all doing amazing. You're an amazing energy. And I thank you for your generosity. Thanks, guys, so much. Let's go and ask what's going on for Capricorn these days. Things that Capricorn should be aware of that we didn't touch on in the regular Capricorn read. Additional information or new information, please, for Capricorn. Hmm. High Priestess. Karma. Celebrating. Ooh. What just happened here? Ten of Pentacles. you get an offer? Is this a party? Is this you dating? Is this you getting a windfall? Is this you celebrating something here? Well, well. Whoa. Is this a family Reunion, a family get-together. Hello, Tucker. I'll be with you in a minute, okay? This is about family. Tucker wants to say hello, too. Okay, Ten Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Is this a family celebration? Is there something exciting going on here? Does somebody get some... Pay dirt here, some retirement. What was this a windfall? Hello, growth, joy, happiness. What is this? Jesus, Sag. I mean, Capricorn. Sorry, I said Sag. I just did Sag. That's why. So, hello, look at this. This is a partnership, a love relationship, or a business relationship? Is this a promotion? Is this an engagement? Is this a family celebration? Everybody's happy and celebrating here. What is going on? Oh, God. Celebration. Jesus. Good news. I don't know what's going on, but somebody got some exciting news. This is could be an exciting event. A family reunion, a birthday party, a get-together, a celebration of life. It could be Ten of Pentacles, somebody win the lottery, I don't know, start their own business. It's like everybody celebrating here. Some fabulous news coming through for Capricorns here. This is like... um. What's going on here? Is it a new job? Is it a new business you're opening? Is this an opening of a new business? An opening of some kind of career? Somebody's like, woohoo, we're celebrating. Let's have a party here. Happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's rejoicing. Everybody's celebrating here. could be something you did from the past. It could be, um, or someone from the past. You're like really excited to see you, or you're getting together with friends and family and celebrating something. Why is someone so down in the dumps about it? Why is someone crying over spilt milk for Wishes, hopes, what's this all about? What? I don't understand why somebody could be so happy and be so miserable. What the hell's going on here? Oh. 
Oh, somebody thinking about memories here. Somebody thinking about when a time was good. Somebody thinking about past events, past birthdays, family events, family celebrations. No. Somebody got a lot of regrets here. Because some kind of justice here for Capricorn. It actually could be your. You could be with a Libra or an Aquarius or a Leo or. I guess somebody thought there was something better else out there. Somebody really messed up here. Somebody made the wrong choice. They did. Oh my good God. By their own selfish ways. Like... Yep. Yep. That's what we're talking about. They're observing you. They're watching you from afar. Someone seeing clearly how much they loved you, how much love was here in a situation. Oh my God, I thought it was getting good here. Um, Capricorn, how does somebody mess something up that is so perfectly beautiful? I I just don't get it. I guess people just don't appreciate what they have until they don't have it. Until they go through other relationships, until they go through other experiences, and then they figure out that the, what they had in the first place. So many celebrations, so many events so many exciting celebrations here this is like celebrating you know uh love this is family everybody together everybody being happy and having a good time and 
How do you replace those memories? That's a whole lot of love. Somebody messed up. Are they genuinely sorry or are they sorry because they got caught? immaturity and people got to learn their lessons I know that's a sin <laughs> it's just a figure of speech it truly is what a shame. It's a shame to see people that were once so incredibly happy, so very much together, so very much this. I think that you actually are going to be Capricorn, if I'm real with you. Somebody really, 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 really messed up here. You're over here just minding your own business. You're a very strong, this is a very strong feminine energy. Somebody just been doing way too much here. Good Lord, that's who they left for. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're just over here, very strong feminine energy. Beautiful feminine energy. Holy Jesus. No. Could have been dealing with a narcissist. I don't know. Someone needs to take care of their health. It's like... You're very stable. This is a masculine energy who you need 
clear your energy from there is some kind of someone just knew how to always lift you up just to dump you on your head or they're in that somebody knows it too they're very very angry person This is someone, some damn ass shady feminine putting ideas in your twin flames head, make them angry at you. It's, they're an energy vampire. It's like, well, that's who they, they thought was going to be better than an empress. What a save. This is... This is... Some psychokarmic... The X Factor... Just saying. I don't know how something so perfect and beautiful can be ruined by people interfering, people sabotaging. It's, I don't rejoice in it. I don't even like doing these kind of reads because it's just like you have something so awesome and so beautiful and full of positive energy and loving kindness and then it turns into this ugliness of just like it changes everybody's life over some stupid stuff people interfering really makes me sad to see people's relationships do this no fun in it there's no pleasure in it i can assure you it's really sad it makes me really sad because when i see successful relationships it gives all of us hope and i think that you're gonna have a really successful relationship but it's like all the painstaking stages in order to get there is something else People trying to interfere in people's relationships because they can't stand to see, see people happy really really is sick I mean it's different if two people aren't happy together it's different if people are you know going their own ways and separating then they mutually have made that decision but when somebody deliberately comes in and interferes in someone's union for their own personal agendas, that's another story. happens people let it happen that's why it happens people allow it to help happen and they let it happen instead of taking it back and making it work 
why is it so easy for people to break up nowadays? I don't, I don't get that. Like, it's so common now. It's like, us readers would be busy till the end of eternity. <laughs> it's really a shame. But I do know you have a great future and I do know that you have nothing but beautiful people around you, happiness. It's a joy-filled life that you're going to be having. So value that and appreciate that because it's very rare. Take care.